Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the Supra 000604 key safe dial combination over the door style in a black color. It's really going to look like this when it's on the door. So this is an over the door style and here's your metal flange, your door clamp I suppose, that's going to attach to the back side of your key safe like this and sit over the door just as shown. So it's going to look like that from the front. Okay. Dimensionally and there's screws, by the way, to you know, hold that on, and I'll show you the screws in a moment. Dimensionally, the height of the key box looks like about two and five eighths. Yep, two and five eighths. The width of the key box looks like about four and a quarter, and about four and five sixteenths, and then a projection off the face of the door. Total projection looks like about an inch and a half. Yeah, about an inch and inch and seven sixteenths from the back side of the key box to the front of the dial. Okay. So showing you the key box what it looks like, that's all fine and dandy. Now you've got a real good, you know, picture of or an idea of what it looks like. But the business end of this video is to show you really how to change the combination. It's really simple. Um, I've done these a number of times, and they're all very different. Uh, well, they're not all very different, but they're different. This one I did. I, I didn't even really have to read the instructions. It's just so easy. I'm going to tip the camera down to the uh, top of the uh, my desk uh, so it'll be easier because I won't be able to change the combination and show it to you at the same time. First of all, there's a link below this video to the instructions, and instructions are included with the key box. The instructions that I'm looking at, the link, are exactly the same as the instructions that are included. Okay, The stock combination are the letters S as in Sam, P as in Paul, I as an igloo. That's the stock combination per the instructions. It's, it says it right up here. It says it right here what it is. I just wrote it larger so you can see it. I have confirmed that the combination came from the factory with SPI working. I then changed it to um, a different combination. I'm zooming in the camera a little bit. See how that works. So I've got the combination. It was set at SPI. I've changed it to the combination that would suit my uh, memory, which would be my initials, RLH. So the use of this combination is identical to how my padlock was on my locker in high school. So it's basically turn it three times to the right to clear the combination. Okay. Now I'm going to stop it when I get to R, which is the first letter of the combination that I changed it to. Then we're going to go back past R to L, which is the next value in the combination. Just like the, the padlock that you had in high school. Past R, we're going to stop at L. The last value was my uh, last name, H, for Howard. We're going to go back to the right all the way to H. And I realize you're viewing this in the opposite direction in terms of how I'm saying it. Just think of your padlock. Now, if I've done it right, 
this will flip down because I've entered my combination RLH. And indeed it is. So that tab, that lock button goes down. You can then tip the whole unit out. So this is the business end of it, and we'll go over that in a minute. So that your case is going to look like this, and inside of here are going to be some screws, okay, which you can use to attach the lock case through the holes on the inside. Or, of course, this is where you go about attaching your bracket through the holes inside. Like this. And those screws I mentioned earlier you're going to have your pan head screws come through the back side. You've got a square cutout on the inside of these screws. And it'll go through your flange, your door clamp, like this. Okay. It's so then going to go through your lock body into the hole as it lines up. Then on the inside, you're going to see right there that thread. Then you'll take your female end the slot on one side. I want to get, just get it started because it would be impossible to show it to you when the camera started. Very difficult to do because of how small a workspace it is. Okay, so I've got the screw started. You can see inside of there when I tighten it up, this clamp is, got, is now going to stay. Okay, just like that. So I'm going to put this aside. Now we're going to talk about changing the lock combination, which I think is the, you know, the real value in, in creating a video like this. The instructions are pretty clear on how to do it, um, but I think they are a little intimidating, which they don't obviously need to be. So you've got your lock combination here. Okay. The first thing you're going to do is flip the button up. And that will allow you to then release the snap cover. In the back, you've got these, and this little clamp right here is to hold a small key ring. You've got these two tabs here at the top, right here and right here. So I'm going to just simply depress those two tabs and remove the back cover. Now at this point, you've got parts in there that are going to fall out. Okay. Don't be confused, don't be intimidated by seeing this, but keep in mind once you remove the back cover, which I have here on the desk, parts are going to fall out. You'll probably want to study them, just have a visual memory of how they came out. You're going to have three locking rings, and the instructions basically tell you to turn the combination, and those parts will come out, and they indeed will. So I'm going to remove, you're going to have three locking rings and they're all going to be identical. I'm going to put one down. You don't have to worry about it. They're literally identical. Then you're going to have these, this spring washer and there's two of them. And you can see that they're not flat. Well, hopefully you can see that they're not flat. You're going to want to memorize the direction in which they came out. This bent face is what's going to be towards the inside of the lock assembly. This face on my thumb side will be the face down. So just keep that in mind. You'll have another locking ring come out. I'm not sure what they actually call those. They are called... They're called letter rings is what they're called. So another washer is going to come out. There it is. Okay, put that on your desktop. Then your last locking ring or letter ring is 
going to come out. And I'm going to tip the lock case forward so I can kind of get it to fall out. There it is. Just rotated the dial. I got my last locking ring. So at this point, I have three letter rings. Forgive me, I keep saying locking rings. I've got three letter rings, and I've got two washers. Okay. So at this point, I'm going to change the combination back to what it was per the instructions. So what I'm going to do is rotate my dial to the right, and as I rotate it to the right, it's going to line up the pins that are on the inside. And you see, you might be able to see, you've got the pin that's directly vertical right now. And then you've got one here, and then you've got one over here, down here, these two. Then this one that's vertical. Make Turn it to the right so that they're all vertical. And what you can see, you really can't see in there, but there are three rotating wheels. And they all have those features to them, the little protrusion. Get them all lined up in the process of rotating the combination clockwise like you would a, ca a padlock from high school, will do that. That's like clearing the combination. So I'm going to get them all perfectly vertical again, and they are. Now, I'm going to set the combination back to what it was per the factory settings, which was, if you recall, SPI. So what that means is you're going to take a letter ring you may not have been able to notice it before, but there's letters all over it. You're going to drop your letter ring, your first one in, S, because that's the first combination. And right here at the top, you can see that there's a letter S. And you know, turn it over here, you'll find your P, and you'll find your I. So I'm going to drop my first letter ring in such that the S, the bird's mouth cut out for the S, is going to go into my feature here on the inside locking chamber. So I'm going to drop it in. I kind of have to turn it towards me to see what I'm, where I'm dropping it in. Okay. So I've got that notch going right into the bird's mouth of the S. It looks like it's between the S and the T, but it's the S. Then you're going to drop your first spring washer. That little bent side is going to go in. Drop that right in there. It's going to look like that. Now you're going to drop your next lettered washer. And if you remember the combination, the next one is P. So I'm going to put my P at the top and drop that into that feature there. Turn it towards me so I can see it. And now my P is at the top. Right in that little notch there. Here. Right, right here. Then your second washer is going to go in. Just like the first one. That's what it's going to look like. Now your last combination for your lettered ring is I. So you're going to get your I. You're going to drop that in there as well. At that point, it's going to be all loose parts again, so be careful. I got the I right there. And sure, my feature is not vertical anymore, but it's, it's in alignment is the point. At this time, snap your back cover back on to the lock. Here it snap in there. Now if I've done all that correct, this is going to work. So I'm going to clear my dial three times to the right, just like high school. First combination was S. And I magically stopped right on S. Just okay, let me let me go one more time. 
I had a 1 in 26 chance of stopping on us. Okay, so we're right on us. Now, you go back to the left, past S, to the next letter, which is P. Past, one time past S, and stop at P. I'm going to turn it towards me so I don't blow past it. Then to the right to I. That's the third value in the combination. Okay, turn it towards me. Now, if I've done this all correctly, this button is going to drop. Let's see. And it did. That is, in effect, unlocking it. Only when it's unlocked are you able to remove it from the lock case. So it's set back to the factory combination. The housing, our lock chamber, snaps back in. Change our combination just by clearing it three times to the right. Now, of course, the button won't drop. I'm going to zoom the camera out again. And tilt it back up. <clears throat> so, let's, let's just test it. We've got a situation where it's locked. You've come up to the house. We're going to go to S. P I pin drops the entire combination comes out and then from that point you can get yourself uh, the uh, access to the material that you need real nice lock so you're going to like I said you're going to have these screws which, which you can use to attach this lock body you're going to have this set of bolts which are going to be used for your door clamp or your door flange, bolting it through the door. You're going to have your instructions and just a little diagram on showing how to put the door clamp on. But other than that, that's going to be everything that there's going to be. Be nothing else to it. Uh, if you have any questions on the Supra 00604 key safe dial combination over the door style key box in black or any other Supra product, please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you.